to this is Friday morning. Temperatures below freezing north and west, but it's going to feel like that in the city anyway. Even though we make roll in Saturday night, early Sunday morning, this for now is the Sunday storm. So you can see that rain snow line, the pink line pretty close to the city. Uh, but inland areas likely to see some light accumulation. The farther north and west you go, the more you're going to see. So that's the Sunday forecast. If you're traveling back home on that day, the southern tier of the country, the weather's really quiet and nice all the way to Los Angeles, but there's high fire danger out there. Phoenix with a high of 80 on Monday. Some of you may be getting out on Monday. Another storm for the Pacific Northwest. That atmospheric river keeps churning them in there uh, and more rain for them, so likely some airport delays there. Otherwise, most of the country, the weather's really quiet. There's not much to talk about. Clearing out tonight and cold, but it's the 50s by Friday of next week, so we do warm up for a couple of days next week, but it stays chilly otherwise. Have a good weekend. It even looks chilly. Behind I know, right? On top of the rock camera. You can tell. Yeah, you can tell. Janice, mm -hmm. thank sure. you. Janice. All right, well, Westchester County's winter wonderland. Timing out your weekend forecast. Janice. Hi, Jen. Well, some people are seeing snow right now across northern New Jersey. A few flurries into the Hudson Valley and the Catskills and Poconos. Farther north, even more than that. Temperatures are in the 30s and 40s, but it feels a whole lot colder because of the wind gusts. Right now, near 30 miles an hour in the city in White Plains. 31 mile per hour gusts in Belvoir and 37 miles an hour in uh, Bridgeport. Makes it feel like 29 degrees. Dress for these temperatures if you have to go out. It feels like 19 in Monticello and it does not get any better than that. It just feels even colder as we go through the night. By 10 o'clock, teens and 20s everywhere. By tomorrow morning, same thing. Feels like 10 in Monticello, 23 in New York City. And throughout the day, because we're still expecting some wind gusts tomorrow, it's still going to feel like it's below freezing. Now, uh, the storm that's over us right now, low pressure with a bit of light snow and rain mixed. Doesn't look like a whole lot of accumulation for the city, but I'll show you what the computers are saying coming up in a, in a few minutes. Back to you. All right, we'll see you then, Janice. Thank you. And it is a potential. There's going to be a storm in here. It's just whether or not the city gets accumulating snow. And then there's a cold weather for most of next week. The temperatures will be well below average. Here's what I'm talking about. 46 tomorrow, 40. Ah, oh, the Rockefeller Center Christmas tree from the backside. Look at the star there on the top. And uh, people are out and about. It's 53 degrees, but if you're leaving now, the temperatures will be falling through the 40s. And grab an umbrella because by midnight, we'll have some light rain in the area. And it's because of this front. This is not the one we're talking about for Sunday. This one's coming now. That will spread some rain closer and closer to us in the Mindy. Temperatures in the 30s, below freezing in Monticello during the day, 41 in Midtown. Sunday's different. That's when that storm is coming, the one that we're expecting some snow. So you'll see some snow off to the north and west, maybe even some snowflakes in the city. But it all depends on how close that low develops to the coast, whether or not we'll get accumulating snow in the city. And if we do, it's likely to be less than an inch. Our exclusive NBCU uh, forecast.